National Geographic Simon and Susie of Snake City will be at the Austin Zoo this weekend meeting fans. Gabby Zivanova sat down with them to get a preview of what guests can expect. Well, not everyone is a fan of snakes, but you have to admit some of them can be so much fun. And there's an event happening this weekend here in Austin that you're not going to want to miss. So joining me now all the way from South Africa, Snake City, is Nat Geo Wild, Simon and Susie. Thank you so much for being here. We're happy to have Pleasure. you. Thank, Thank you for you having very us. Much. You so have a couple, excited. a couple of boas with you, right? That's we have it. some beautiful boas here. So, and we noticed Brian has run out the building. Oh, of course, of course he has, yes. <laughs> yeah, he's, gone home. he's disappeared on us, but yeah, we have a beautiful boa, some lovely slithery friends uh, for you to meet and also for our fans to meet tomorrow. Tomorrow at 10 a.m. from 10 yes. to 2, two that's right? Right. at yeah. the Austin Zoo. That's tell correct. me, how did y'all get, get into this? Because Snake City is, is a documentary and, and tell me what happens on that show. Yeah, well basically I emigrated to South Africa Durban in 2005 and I was looking for something to do, you know, and I started rescuing snakes. They end up in people's houses, schools, truck engines, you name it, black mambas, cobras, puff adders, spitting cobras, all kinds of things. Could literally be on the toilet uh -huh. and one can pop up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's a nightmare. That is a nightmare. Yeah. Well, when you go in to, to, to wrangle them, to rescue them, do you have to use special gloves, special, yeah. you know, what, you know? Yeah, the harmless ones we just grab with our hands. They yeah. can't do anything, but obviously things like mambas and cobras, you have to have tongs or hooks or gloves and they can get themselves in some tricky spaces. So it, we gently take them away and then we relocate them back in the wild where they belong. Interesting. It can be dangerous. You said you're allergic to venom. She I'm is, in the yeah. wrong job. I'm Seriously? Allergic to venom. Yeah. yeah. So a black mamba bite, I could be dead in 80 seconds so oh it's not great gosh. it's a bit like a dog groomer being allergic to dog hair it's the same kind of thing so I'm in the wrong job you know but but you're saying snakes it. can also be lovely pets you all have plenty of them yeah. we have lots yeah I mean we I only keep venomous snakes at home those you can't handle with your bare hands obviously but they do make great pets like these boa constrictors here today or corn snakes things like that that are harmless and do make good pets and, and they can live for a long time 25 years or so oh my we talked yeah. about some of their weights you're saying some of these snakes can get rather large yeah. let's talk about that yeah. <laughs> Even like 29 foot is the record for reticulated python. Uh -huh. So that is pretty big. Uh, probably not the best pet to have unless you're experienced, yeah. but <laughs> huge. Which one did you say the women were larger than the men? In which um, even in reticulated pythons, really? yeah. Burm yeah. Burmese pythons, the women get bigger. That's right. We right. retain hey. water. That's what <laughs> happens. I know, it? oh, it's not fair, is it? So, <laughs> damn it. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah. What, what an exciting job. And I that love has, the yeah. fact that, and you know, and Pat's here, and that, that tomorrow people can just experience that themselves. Absolutely. Come say hi. We, we don't good. bite. No. Um, come say hi to the snakes, but obviously if we've been saying don't kiss them, that's not the best situation, no. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, come say hi. They come say hi, come, yeah. say, come see the zoo. Okay. You know, fantastic zoo. So excited to be yeah. here. We're so, so excited to have you. Yeah. Be Thank sure you. to check them out tomorrow at the Austin Zoo starting at 10 a.m.